What a year. What a year 2013 has been. One of the busiest years that I can remember. A year of many fun, incredible, interesting, fascinating things happening. The first year that I went to Gen Con, for example, which was quite a remarkable experience. A um, lot of things to keep me busy at work, uh, with my family. And luckily enough, I also found some time to play games. I also want to thank all those that participated to my Kickstarter campaign. 2013 was also the first time that I tried that. Great success. I really want to thank you all for the support, all the love, and, and the donations too. Uh, but the love, the love really matters. And the donations too. Um, I, if I have not produced some of the things that I promised I would deliver, for example, some of the videos, uh, I haven't forgotten. I'm still working on those, don't worry. Um, before a year from my character campaign is over, that was the deadline that I gave to myself, before that time goes by, I will deliver what I promised. Also, I'm definitely working hard to keep up my promise to produce 100 video reviews um, by the end of summer 2014. That is something that is really important to me to keep my promise to my viewers and to my backers of my Kickstarter campaign. Um, it is getting hard. It is getting hard because I have slowed down my gaming schedules lately. There are just many incredible things that I'm busy with all the time. Uh, I tried to create a blog, unfortunately that didn't work, I just didn't have the time to, to keep up with it. And, and having a blog in which I just get online every two weeks to tell you that I haven't played nearly enough and I haven't played as much as I wanted, it would just be like whiner of the year video blog, you don't need that. But uh, I, will I will love to do that. 2013. 2014 uh, is going to be busy as well, especially the first part of the year. I'm teaching things that I haven't taught before. I'm teaching new classes at IU. Um, in uh, May, I'm going to be out of the country. May and early June, I'm going to be in Italy teaching stuff, new class. So I also have to prepare that class earlier. So if you don't see me online in May and early July and early June, do not worry. I have not disappeared from the from the from the net. Uh, it, I'm still in. I'm just in Italy. Uh, I'll be playing as many games as I can, and I hope I will be able to film a lot of video reviews when I come back. I may not uh, be able to film, edit, and post stuff when I am there. I wanted you to know, if you don't hear from me, then uh, don't worry. I'm there playing with you, well, playing with, uh, with you in mind, uh, playing with the idea of sharing my thoughts with you as soon as possible. Now, um, 2013, I did what I could in terms of gaming, because I still love that this hobby so much, uh, even though it is so hard to keep up with it, and sacrifices and compromises need to be made quite often. Still, I did play some remarkable games, and like every year, when I sit down and I try to figure out the 10 best games to tell you about, I still have a hard time. Even though I play probably less games than I have played in previous years, uh, there were still a lot of really fun, interesting things. Um, also, each year I need to frame my video of the best uh, 10 games of the year uh, a little bit to show you my, my parameters, my guidelines. This video is going to be about the best games that I played in 2013. It doesn't necessarily mean the ones that came out in 2013, even though I think that pretty much uh, it covers that. It just so happens that most of these games did come out in 2013. Um, and I said games, not war games. I could have said combat games, because when I sat down and I thought, what are the games that I enjoyed the most? Uh, yeah, there weren't, there weren't any Euro games. I play some really good Euro games. Trajan is a game that I enjoy very much. Still, somehow, these games just don't make the cut into the 10 best ones. But uh, not all of the combat games that I played this year, not all the games that have combat as a theme, 
are traditional war games. There are indeed some games that definitely are more like a uh, adventure game, board game, role-playing type of games uh, that have combat in it. You will see what I mean, but definitely are games where the players are fighting against each other, but they are not traditional war games. Um, also, a new thing is that some of the games that I'll be talking about are miniature games. This is a part of the of the world of gaming that I only started exploring in late 2012 and then in 2013. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, since I do not paint miniatures, uh, I have to rely on professional painters. It is an expensive process, it takes time, but then playing with these miniatures is just so absolutely fantastic. In my top 10 video however i will also give you some options because i will tell you at least about one game which is a miniature game so you can experience the joy of playing in a miniature setting with a continuous space uh, where you measure and move and you climb stuff you have the joy of fighting in a three-dimensional space and you can do that without breaking the bank i'm gonna tell you about uh, in an inexpensive option of doing that um, this was a pretty fairly long introduction. Well, sort of like a recap. What happened? What's gonna happen? You know what? I think I'm gonna stop here. Um, also because I have a work meeting that starts in five minutes, so I need to go there. But it kind of makes sense. I, I gave you a little bit of a summary recap. Uh, later, after the meeting, as soon as I find the time, I'm going to actually tell you about the games that I enjoyed the most and they uh, and just the more. The game that is the, oh, what's going on? The games that I enjoyed playing the most in 2013, and I hope that these games will give you some, some guidelines for things that maybe you overlooked or you didn't rely, realize were this awesome. I think that maybe you will find here some inspirations for a game that may interest you in the future. In any case, gotta run now. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.